Hey everyone! Hello! I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi and today I'm joined by my lovely mom. Thank you very much for inviting me. <laughs> so we wanted to film a fun video for you guys. Um, today is Valentine's Day. When you guys, will, well when this video is released you might watch it. Not on Valentine's Day. But it made me think that I might as well delve into the talk about love, romance and dating. And who better to ask than someone who has been married for 40 years? 40, it's nearly 41, but it's 40 years. Yeah, nearly 41 years. So I thought, why not ask my mum? I've done this before with my dad, where I ask him you guys' dating dilemmas, and he's quite funny and he's quite brutal and, like, honest. Um, whereas my mum is, I think, a bit more romantic, right? Definitely, I'm a romantic person. Yeah? So I'm going to be asking my mum just a few questions, and we're going to be chatting to you guys all about um, all things to do with dating, dating now versus when my mum was my age and um, the differences between here and Iran. So without further ado, we're going to get into the conversation. Please give this video a huge thumbs up to say thank you for my mum for joining um, and I really do hope that you enjoy this style of video. So mum, the first thing that I wanted to ask you is what do you think is the main difference now um, between dating when you were my age, 25, um, versus now that I'm 25? There is uh, two things in here. One uh, depends the family. Some people are still they having the same culture and they continue the same culture. You mm -hmm. couldn't say that. And some people, on that time, they continue this culture. Okay. So That's why we have two types. And we have to speak about two types. Okay, so what do you mean? I mean, for example, on my time, mm -hmm. uh, if um, you ask a lot of people, they go and is arranged wedding. Okay, so arranged wedding. You're jumping right into arranged. Okay. So what do you mean by arranged? Because even in the Middle East, we have different ideas um, across the Middle East and across Asia and even different cultures of what arranged is. So can you explain to everyone what an arranged marriage would be in Iran? Arranged marriage is like family or friends or somebody they introduce someone to your family or your daughter and uh, you have to they have to pass all the um, exam like for example <laughs> parents they like it they like their family they don't like is it educated or is not is it working or not what my mom is kind of get trying to get the gist at is that um, in Iran it's not an arranged marriage per se but more of an introduction so like they will when you're when someone has a son that wants to get married the mum will usually ask around and say hey do you know anyone who has any daughters um, who want oh, to yes. get married because my son wants to get married and um, the families meet the son and the daughter meet and um, if they get along then they can discuss further um, about like they'll maybe go on a few dates like um, they could be supervised they could be unsupervised and if they like each other they could go on to get married and sometimes it is families uh, yeah arrangement yeah but I think what my mum was also trying to say at the start was that not everyone follows this tradition you know some people including my mum um meet, 40 years ago yeah met met my dad um like through a coincidence which I have a whole other video of how they met I'll link it in the description which has had over a hundred thousand views did you know that <laughs> loads of people love your love story um so yeah my mum and dad is a love story but even when they met my mum told my dad um you know you have to come and meet my family and you know we have to do what we call the khasagari which is like the proposal where you come with your family and we discuss all these things like your background my background it's not just i said he, uh, he knew oh, he knew and everybody they knew and his family they knew they have to do this yeah. this is a culture yeah. in iran yeah um but what do you think is the difference now Okay, so let's go back to my first question. What do you think is the main difference now um, for me dating or meeting someone versus you? Do you think it's easier? Do you think it's harder but when you were my age? I think for me, I think I don't think so. Is that much different? Because these days, a lot of people they um, look at internet and they choose what they want and. Uh, they look at them exactly the same. They look at educated, they look at 
family, they look at That's the job. That's very true, you know. I, I thought you were going to say it's so different because you have the internet, but you're right, it's actually... Actually, exactly the same. <laughs> and people, they're looking at internet, and if, yes, it's good boy, or, um, good job, of course, they click and they go and have a look. <laughs> if not, they say, okay, go stay in queue. <laughs> It's nothing different. And what, what do you think, okay, um, is a good age to start dating? I think they shouldn't start very early because, because a lot of things. First, if you start very early, your mind always is uh, in love mind. And always you think about that and you don't think about business or educated or another different things in life. That's, this is my opinion. I think they should, you shouldn't, it's not you, uh, generally. Yeah, talking. okay, but what do you think is a good age? I think a good age is after 18. Okay, after 18. Yes. So, mum, like, do you see any similarities um, when you hear, let's say, our dating stories or like dating stories on the TV, etc., versus your time when you, like, when your, you or your friends or whoever used to go on dates, like, was there anything that you hear that you're like, oh my god, like, we don't do that, or you actually used to do, or how, how did people used to meet? Because, you know, now, yeah, we can go out to like uh, bars and clubs and meet people, we have the internet now, like you said, um, we can be introduced through fr friends, but like, how was it like for you guys? Because obviously, in your in your time, you didn't have the internet as a form of of meeting people. Um, so, what was it like? It's a lot different. It's so funny if I tell you. Yeah. For, uh, yes. Is for example, boy he passing with his car front of your car, and just he <laughs> start home. <laughs> <laughs> this means he love you. <laughs> There's a lot of boys who love me in central London. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly like that. And then what they would and stop? And they start following you. Oh. <laughs> you know, if they did that now, they'd get arrested. <laughs> but I think in Iran, probably it still is the same. <laughs> yeah, in Iran, like I think one of the things I saw as well is like they go like door to door, which is like where they like go around, like driving around in a certain area. And they come and follow you with just cars. And yeah. Like that. And like the cars will follow each other, slow down next to each other, and like pass numbers and stuff. And then like, what about like if you were to go out on a date? Um, like, where would you go for a date? But on that time, no people they couldn't go for dates like that. If they go to if they go for date, they have to hide in the car like this. I saw a lot of girls sitting in the car like this. Oh my uncle, my uncle is passing. Go, go. <laughs> I think that oh, still happens now, for God. sure. Um, you think he didn't show me? No, okay. Oh my God, it's my auntie again! Oh my God. So you couldn't go on dates, really? No, they couldn't go like that, no. Because it would be frowned upon? <laughs> would it be like frowned upon? Like people would look at you like you shouldn't be on a date, you know? Yes, but and I don't know what they think. In the end, how you want to marry? And, and they <laughs> act you on. They act, they are very educated and all the time when they sit and talk and they said, okay, you have to know each other. How they have to know each other? <laughs> they couldn't sit next to each other. They have to hide it like this, this and go, go. How they can see each other? How they can talk, <laughs> and in the end, is a lot of. Um, I think, I think most of them they are very, um, they are very happy. Yes, <laughs> to be honest, yes, I saw a lot of people. What they from, are very from happy. the ones who used to hide in their dates? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do think you still get that now obviously like you said as well it depends on families what cultures are like and um, also like the individual person if they want to adopt the culture and stuff like I would say I'm I'm very modern but I'm also very traditional at the same yes. time um, so for example like me being modern one of the things I'm really like lucky about is my parents are really like open to who I want to date they don't mind um, you know for example what they do for work where they come from what kind of um, lifestyle they live that doesn't really bother them what bothers them is more I would say and what humanity yeah and like what my I think what my mum and dad really care about is 
someone who's like really hard working and, and determined, you know, um, because it's not nice to struggle in your life. I think mm -hmm. that's one of the things yes. that you always tell me. Yes. Is like you don't, you want You don't some... like lazy people. Yeah, but not, not just not lazy. Not you, I'm not talking about you. I know. But I mean, like, not just like lazy, and you're right, you are talking about me, because I really find it really unattractive if a guy doesn't have a drive or a job. Like, I've been on a date before with a guy who's from a really successful family, and like, honestly, could probably like buy you the whole world if you wanted. But when we sit and talk, that there's nothing in common. Like, he'll be like, how was your day? And I was like, oh yeah, like just was at med school. Like, and then afterwards, like went to a workout class and like now I'm gonna come home and study and then have dinner with my family. And I'd be like to him, how was your day? And he was like, yeah, so I watched Netflix. And then I like, you know, took the dog for a walk and then I came back and watched some more Netflix. And I'm just like, you know, you don't have something in common. Like there's no drive and there's no passion. The so, only thing's important. When they answer to you what they did, you have to listen carefully mm -hmm. because this is your future life. Yeah, it's true. And if you want, okay, if you want just to go and be dog or sit ne watch Netflix, okay, it's fine. But after you couldn't say, no, I didn't know you are like this. Yeah. You have to listen carefully what you say. Let's say, for example, boy and a girl get in a relationship and they've been serious they've been together for like a year they introduce each other to each other's family but then like they might realize like the girl might realize oh he's not actually the one for me or the guy might realize not actually the one for me do you think don't care about anybody yeah you, yes don't care about what people they say yeah this is your life and you have only one life mm -hmm. and you have to decide that never is not late yeah you have to you have to care about your life one thing my dad always says is like he's like you could be like 99 and if your husband is annoying you you best divorce him <laughs> he's like because if you waste one minute of your day unhappy then you know that's not that's not good enough no. so um, obviously it, he doesn't mean literally like the guy annoys you and divorce him but like he means if in general your relationship is not making you happy then this don't is stay not, in that relationship this is not uh, i push people to go for divorce no no and small things you couldn't uh, decide about a small thing something he said like that oh okay finish yeah no yeah you have to think proper it's another controversial one again being iranian i think I have half of my friends who do and half of my friends who don't. What do you think about people who, they have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and they've been, they're quite serious, they've been together, let's say six months. Do you think you should post pictures online that you're a couple? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. you, you don't think there's anything wrong with that? No. Yeah. Why? Yeah, no. I, because if you don't want it, in the end, you want answer to who? But what if you, you break up to... and then there's someone else? Who cares? And... I like that mentality. <laughs> <laughs> it's true because I think what you are like, what I would say you're like quite progressive and open-minded about is the fact that actually a lot of people have you have to date people to know what you like and what you don't like and who you want to be with and end up with and what kind of person you want um so of course you won't have just dated one person no so you know at the end of the day who, who cares if people know that you've dated more than one person exactly so i i um I like this. It look like people they have a, in, uh, on that time in Iran they have a lot of hasiga. <laughs> yeah. So another thing that I want to know about like let's say your friends and you guys whatever when you were my age is if a guy did take you out on a date, yeah. Um would you ever offer to pay and would you ever split the bill? <laughs> if so. I split the bill, straight away don't go again with him. <laughs> That's my opinion. Why? Because, Why? Because he cares about the money and in the end your life is not one life. You are not together like okay, that. Okay, but if you're together then why can't you pay half and he pays half? No, 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 no. Life shouldn't be like that. Because all is one uh, back. Okay. And all of... But it's the first date. How do you know if you're going to spend your whole life together? Uh, still, boy like that, I don't like. 
He's not, uh, I love money, no. I don't like that personality. Probably it's Iranian culture. Iranian culture, ladies shouldn't spend the money. Not spend the money, ladies should sit and men they pay. Yeah. When men is somewhere, okay. ladies they shouldn't offer, it's not nice. <laughs> So like my mum said, obviously like this is just her opinion, um, so I don't want you guys to like take it personally, um, this is just what she thinks. So we've spoken a lot about dating, getting to know someone, um, and obviously you speak a lot about listening to the person and seeing what their life would be like and your life with them. But what if the guy is telling you an absolute lie? So we recently watched Tinder Swindler, yeah? Swindler. که یا رو سفر جت می شد و همش به دختر ویدیو می داد و اینو اون What do you think of that whole situation? Do you think the girls should have known better? Do you think they should have looked into him more? Or do you think they looked into him too much? They cared about the wrong things? What do you think? Like that guy, like that, I think my opinion, you should understand when people like that and they do a lot for you, they want something. Definitely they want something. You mean like if, if they do a lot for you without knowing you well? Exactly. Okay. And if uh, they continue because a lot of them they continue because they want with uh, time you trust them and if they continue like six months and after they want something from you I still don't trust them but what you're saying is then you should never trust anyone no you, you should. shouldn't trust someone for six months no if they ask you for money or something like that and you're talking about that show yeah yeah i know but like let's say People don't know if they meet someone who is like the guy from that show. So that's yes, why that was very easy. You can ask. Uh, you are very rich. Go and ask your dad. It's <laughs> <is> very easy. <laughs> Go and ask your dad why your dad is not giving to you money. Did you explain about the film? <laughs> so many of you guys haven't watched Tinder. Because a lot of people they didn't watch that film. <laughs> so Tinder Swindler is about a guy who pretends. If he to has be... an aeroplane or if he has uh, that much money, he has a sisters, he has a brothers. Why he should come and ask for first for um, the people uh, they dating together? Yeah. You have to hide from that people. You haven't got money. Not you show and tell him, tell her, okay, give it to me some money. You know how much money I had. Why no. do you think the girls gave him money? She trusts him for nothing. I don't know because girl uh, looking for him for uh, for wrong reasons. Mm. Because she thought he's rich and he's shy to ask other people like that. I don't know. And what he wants to do? Probably he's saying, okay, you are not honest with me. You don't uh, share your life with me. You don't share your uh, small money with me. And uh, he wants. Play wash, games. Wash your brain. Yeah. Play games. It's and if he say, okay, I'm going. And definitely he's going because yeah. he's, he's not some, you are not something for him. Yeah. And if he gone, you are lucky. <laughs> yes, don't trust anybody, darling. Don't trust. <laughs> if somebody they want live, let him live. Don't make yourself crease go inside of her his heart. Don't crease yourself trying to squeeze yourself into someone's heart. Exactly. Oh, very nice. Thank you. I think that's a pretty quote to end this video on. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel by pressing the red button. I will see you in my next video. Thank you again, mummy. Thank you very much, darling. <laughs> Just my last word. If somebody they want to leave, you let him live. Don't worry, you are lucky. Because if he wants you, definitely he's not doing that. And that is the final words of a dating advice video. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.